Welcome to EP Wealth Advisors Informed Investor Series on how to create your investment portfolio. My name is Breen Murphy. I'm the Director of Client Experience. I'm here with Adam Phillips. He's the Director of Portfolio Strategy. He's a Charter Financial Analyst. He's a Certified Financial Planner. You may have seen him in the Wall Street Journal and CNBC, TD Ameritrade, Yahoo Finance, and last year in 2019, he was awarded the Forbes Best in State Next Gen Advisor. So we're lucky to have you, Adam. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, one of the questions that I wanted to, to talk a little bit about today is people come in saying like, you know, they're scared of the market, they want to go to cash, or, or they think they can, you know, wait until the perfect time is, to invest their assets. Can you talk a little bit about market timing and what people should know if they're, if they're feeling that way? Sure. Uh, so th this is one that we hear a lot about. Mm -hmm. and, and so you mentioned the word perfect. If, you're, if investors are waiting for the perfect time to get invested, mm -hmm. they're going to be waiting a long time, um, I, I think is the reality. And, and there's actually a study that, uh, that we've been sharing at these uh, market outlooks that we've been doing around the different geographies. So if you, if you haven't attended those in the past, uh, please check them out. Um, so we try to share a lot of good and relevant information there. But one of the slides that, that I've been presenting, it really touches on this and, and it lists um, the last several years, every investment hurdle that we as investors have had to overcome. Mm -hmm. And that's the takeaways. There's no perfect time to get invested. And in fact, if you were to invest, uh, if you were invest, to invest $10,000 back in 1999 and you, and you held it for the next 20 years, you would have doubled your money, mm -hmm. okay? Um, actually, you would have done a little bit better than that. But if you had missed just those 10 best days, just the 10 best days, if you would happen to be in cash and miss out the 10 best days in the market over that period, you would have had uh, about half as much money at the end of the day. Wow. So it really speaks to being invested, determining your asset allocation, and really staying committed to it throughout the cycle. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it sounds to me when you're saying that, that um, like, like the individual days are, are, can be difficult to predict. And so it's important to be invested so you make sure to capture those good individual days. Well, it's, it's really interesting that some of the best days in the past have actually come immediately after or, or within weeks after the worst days. Mm -hmm. you, you generally see when, when investor sentiment is very low, you mm -hmm. see a lot of volatility, but you also see investors kind of use that as a buying opportunity shortly after. So it's not uncommon to see the, some really good days following the really bad days. And it speaks to just writing those things out. I'll give you an example. Fourth quarter of 2018, it's a period that a lot of us would like to forget. You know, the, the stock market almost went into a bear market, meaning that prices almost fell about 20% from, from mm -hmm. the, the peak, from the all-time high. So going into the 2019, a lot of investors were still a little bit cautious. Have we seen the end of it? Is this the start of a bear market, right. something that could lead to a recession? Well, fast forward, and now we know that stocks ended up rising about 30% last year. Uh -huh. So it really speaks to maintaining that discipline, writing things out, mm -hmm. and, and just maintaining your discipline. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. So um, one other thing that, that I want to have a better understanding is, for, for the people that ask you about market timing, how often do they have a financial plan? Uh, good question. Um, not too often. And, and it's, it's really, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up because one of the great things about doing a financial plan is you can actually show what uh, the, the, uh, the benefits of compounding, you could show it over time, how a portfolio and a financial plan actually looks better over time if one gets invested. But also, a lot of what's keeping investors on the sideline is the risk of, of portfolio losses. It's that loss aversion. Right. And so with a financial plan, the financial planning team can actually simulate some big market drawdowns. They can simulate that volatility. And really, it's, it's really helpful for investors to visualize what that means to their financial plan. And oftentimes, they're surprised to learn that they're OK and yeah. they could ride these things out. And mm -hmm. I think that's really important. It's part of the plan. That's right. Yeah. OK. Well, uh, thank you so much. Is there anything that, that someone who has these questions should be asking an advisor or asking of themselves when they're looking at their own portfolio? Yeah, I, I think these are, these are great. Uh, if, if, if this is the way that, that clients or investors are feeling, it's a great thing to discuss with their advisors. And we mentioned the financial plan. That's, that's a great tool. And, and I kind of gave my own little plug for the Market Outlook seminars mm -hmm. that I, I think is, is really great. If, if uh, people haven't checked that out, it's, it's 
one of the ways that we aim to just make sure that, that uh, investors and clients are remaining informed. Um, the whole goal of this series is to really hit on all those. And so it is not, uh, it's certainly something that we hear a lot about. And so um, I, I think bringing those conversations up will allow you to use it as a learning opportunity and, uh, and overcome these issues. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. If you have any more questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us through the website. We're, we're happy to answer your questions. Um, and this is it for the Informed Investor Series on market timing.